We're living in a moment in time right now where some people don't know where their next meal is coming from. Many people can't travel freely. There is a, an entire nation divided. People are fighting, and killing, stealing, and it's sad. It is disheartening in the year 2020 to think this is all we have to show for all of the things we were supposed to learn from. And I just want to take a moment then reflect on the word of God. The Lord is well pleased with people who strive to live godly lives. If we live lives of integrity, honesty, and generosity, we will reap the benefits and enjoy lives of prosperity. The opposite, however, is true for the wicked. Remember that as a Christian, you have a responsibility to reflect your master. Other people, especially your children, are watching your every move. The godly people find life. Evil people find death. The Lord detests people with crooked hearts, but he delights in those with integrity. Evil people will surely be punished, but the children of the godly will go free. A beautiful woman who lacks discretion is like a gold ring in a pig's snout. The godly can look forward to a reward, while the wicked can expect only judgment. Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. People curse those who hoard their grain, but they bless the one who sells in time of need. If you search for good, you will find favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. Proverbs 11, 19 through 27. Take care of each other out there. There's no need to fight. There's no need to kill. We're supposed to be one great big family. And even a dysfunctional family can always find a way to come together and get through the hard times. It'd be good out there. May God bless you all.